I've got new information that has just hit my desk. All on the Rory McIlroy, Joe LaCarva, Patrick Cantley, Ryder Cup dispute. So let me take your mind back. We saw it on the 18th green. Joe LaCarva, an altercation with Rory McIlroy. We then saw it boil over in the car park with Bones, one of the American caddies. And there are further rumours that something else happened in the hotel foyer. Well, I found out today that there is more information, and this is coming from the words of Rory McIlroy, that Tiger Woods tried to get involved in the whole situation to calm things down. Now, this is going to be really interesting. And if you didn't know what happened to Roy McIlroy and Joe LaCarva, where have you been? But also, let me just remind you of that. So we all saw it boil over on the 18th green. Joe LaCarva was there shaking his hat in Roy McIlroy's line and wouldn't get out of the way. Getting pretty much up close and personal whilst Rory was trying to look at his putt, which actually was a pivotal putt for the match after Patrick Cantley held it from downtown. Now, we then saw it all happen in the car park where Shane Lowry was holding Rory McIlroy back. And further rumours were from other caddies, a fellow Northern Irishman caddy, that caddies for Brooks Kepka came out and said there was something else that happened in the hotel foyer. But it has come to light today, and this comes from Rory McIlroy, that Tiger Woods tried to get involved to defuse the whole situation. Because don't forget, Joe LaCarva, before caddying for Patrick Cantley, was, I'm going to say, long-term-ish caddy for Tiger Woods. He asked Tiger Woods permission, could he go and travel and caddy for Patrick Cantley for the last year? Tiger, obviously being injured, said yes. Now, interestingly, will this affect Tiger's decision going forward? Maybe, maybe not. Let me go through exactly what Rory said here. McElroy said, My relationship with Patrick Cantley is average at best. We don't have a ton in common, and we see the world quite differently. Joe LaCarva used to be a nice guy when he was caddying for Tiger. And he's caddying for that dick. He's turned into a dot, dot, dot. I think uh, you can put the pieces together there. So essentially, Rory's coming out saying he doesn't quite like Patrick Cantley and that the fact that now Joe LaCarva is caddying for Patrick Cantley, he's also turned into, well, a, a not so nice guy. The Northern Irishman said also, I went back to my room and there was a text from Joe LaCarva. And you know what? I would say fair play to Joe LaCarva for this. Hey, Rory, would love to meet up in the morning to clear the air. But I was tired and didn't get back to him. Now, this is where things start to get a little bit more interesting. There was also three texts and two missed calls from Tiger. I mean, if you're getting three texts and two missed calls from Tiger Woods, it's a great number to have in your phone book, isn't it? What a number to have in your phone book. What a number. Now, they're obviously still close, Rory goes on to add. I sent him back a quick message. This is back to Tiger Woods saying, and these are the 12 words. It will be fine, dot, dot, dot. Long day, just want to go to bed. So Rory really didn't have too much to sell the matter just for the fact that, I guess, snubbed Tiger potentially a little bit. I mean, maybe we're reading too much into that. But isn't it interesting that we find out that there is some dialogue between Tiger Woods and Rory McIlroy after the event that happened on 18? I look at this from a couple of ways. Fair play to Joe LaCarva. Fair play to Tiger Woods wanting to be a mediator in this because he's obviously close to them both. He's an investor in the TGL with Rory McIlroy. He's obviously close with Joe LaCarva in terms of their relationship on the golf course and possibly off the golf course too. I just find it really interesting how Tiger Woods sent Rory McIlroy a text message. Don't you? 